Awake from your slumber Arise from your sleep A new day is dawning For all those who weep The people in darkness Have seen a great light The Lord of our longing has conquered the night. Let us build a city of God. May our tears be turned into dancing. For the Lord, our light and our Lord, has turned the night into We are sons of the morning, we are daughters of day, the one who has loved us has brightened our way. Her Augustan Vig, Augustan Spirit Nave. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Our Mass today comes from St. Joseph's Church here in Ballyforn, the banks of the River Sook, bordering East Galway, County Galway. Always coming into Ballyforn, we're always struck by that 13 arch bridge linking both counties, Scotland and Galway. And we gather here both physically and virtually. We gather here with people from the parish, and also we're linked and conscious of the people that are joining us through their various electronic devices. And so wherever you are today, you know, we welcome your prayerful presence as we gather here to celebrate this Eucharist. And we're in the 22nd Sunday, 22nd week in ordinary time. Uh, this is Tuesday, and we are reading today. We will be listening and proclaiming the scripture readings from the Corinthians, 1 Corinthians. And St. Paul continues his great work of nourishing the faith. And he reminds the Corinthians that they can never know God if they rely solely on human thinking or philosophy. And we teach in the way the Spirit teaches us and guides us. So again, remind us to be open to the Spirit, just as he was reminding the Corinthians we must allow the Spirit of God to speak through us. He, and he tells them, we teach things spiritually. A spiritual person is able to judge the value of everything. Such a person has the mind of God. So that's the beautiful words of St. Paul in that first reading today. And in the Gospel, then, we are said this, from here on, we're listening to Luke's Gospel, and we get the first indication. We said it was very much a healing Gospel. And so away from his hometown of Nazareth, Jesus finds more faith in Capernaum. And the people listened to him and were amazed at the great things he did and said. He heals a possessed man. News of the healing and the prophetic words that accompanied it 
spread throughout the region of the Lakeside District. Astonishment seized them and they were all saying to another, what teaching? He gives orders to unclean spirits with authority and power and they come out of them. So there we have the scripture readings that we will listen to in a few moments time. But first of all, let us open our minds and our hearts to God's word, to the Eucharist we're about to celebrate as we first of all call to mind our sins. And in this Mass today we remember all the deceased members of the O'Brien and the Rillens families. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The first reading is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. The Spirit teaches the depths of everything, even the depths of God. After all, the depths of a man can only be known by his own spirit, not by any other man, and in the same way the depths of God can only be known by the Spirit of God. Now, instead of the spirit of the world, we have received the spirit that comes from God to teach us to understand the gifts that he has given us. Therefore, we teach not in the way in which philosophy is taught, but in the way that the spirit teaches us. We teach spiritual things spiritually. A non-spiritual person is one who does not accept anything of the spirit of God. He sees it all as nonsense. It is beyond his understanding because it can only be understood by means of the spirit. A spiritual person, on the other hand, is able to judge the value of everything. And his own value is not to be judged by other people. As scripture says, who can know the mind of the Lord? So who can teach him? but we are those who have the mind of Christ, the word of the Lord. And the response, the Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God, to make known to people your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall and raises up all who are bowed down. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town in Galilee, and taught them on the Sabbath. And his teaching made a deep impression on them because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue there was a man who was possessed by the spirit of an unclean devil, and had shouted at the top of his voice, How, What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus said sharply, Be quiet, come out of him. And the devil, throwing the man into in front of the everyone, went out of him without hurting him at all. Astonishment seized them, and they were all saying to another, What teaching! He gives orders to unclean spirits with authority and power, and they come out. And reports of him went through all the surrounding countryside. The Gospel of the Lord. We are called by Christ to be a sign of his love for all humankind. So let us now pray for his help and support in all of our needs and the needs of people everywhere. Let us pray for our church leaders that they may be true to the authority given to them by Christ. Lord, hear us for all those who are actively working for peace and unity, that they may be supported by the prayers and actions of all who live in the name of Christ and bear the name of Christian. Lord, hear us. For those who can see no hope in their situation, no light in their darkness, may they find signs of a loving and faithful God in those around them. Lord, hear us. For those who are lonely and anxious, may the love of God and the encouragement and support of their family and friends be a source of strength to them. Lord, hear us. Let us pray that this true prayer above all that we will be open to God and not open to the power of evil. Let us pray for greater sense of prayer so that we will overcome the power of evil that's so much part of the world we live in. Lord, hear us. Many people throughout the world are engaged in bringing healing and relief to others. We pray that the power of Christ will be within them to sustain them in their mission of mercy and healing. Lord, hear us. And we pray for all those who are sick at this time, or those who are sick in mind and body, those whose suffering is not always understood or recognized. We think of many people whose suffering is sometimes misunderstood, ignored. We pray for many parts of the world where there is gross and unjust suffering, people suffering that shouldn't be suffering. And we think too of people who suffer because of the unreasonableness and doggedness of others. Lord, hear us. Pray for those who have died, and we pray especially today for all the deceased members of the O'Brien and the Rillins families today. Pat and Bridget and Delia and Kathleen and all the dead. May they rest in peace. Lord, hear us. Just for a moment we'll pray in silence as we ask the Lord to listen to these, our personal Lord, hear us. God our Father, we believe that no prayer goes unanswered, 
And so we ask you to listen to these, our prayers, spoken and unspoken, and grant us and all who are in need today your help through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. And Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite Pray now that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessings of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Blessed Virgin Mary. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which would be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, the clergy, the religious, and people of faith everywhere. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage and faith and the confidence to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be always with you. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called now to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
with us night and day. We want to love you always in all we do and say. We'll try to please you, Father. Bless us through this day. Amen. Lord, support us all the day long till the shadows lengthen and the evening comes. The busy world is hushed. The fever of life is over and our work is done. Then in your mercy, Lord, may you give us a safe lodging, a holy rest, peace at the last. Amen. Prayer of protection from the coronavirus. God of infinite love and creator of all life, protect us from all sickness and suffering. Heal those depressed and burdened with ill health of mind and body. Comfort and strengthen those who are fearful, anxious and distressed. Instill hope and courage in those who are struggling and vulnerable at this time. Relieve the sufferings of all so that we may experience the joy and peace of your healing presence, Lord, in our need, through Christ our Lord. Let's pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, O Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in each other through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Go many jira hok darshiv, ahur makaga spirit nave. The Mass has ended, so let us now go in peace to glorify the Lord of our life. Sing. 
all your pain.